Hello, my name's Jo Hart and I'm a dog groomer and today I'm going to talk to you about grooming your dog's feet. Grooming your dog's feet is important because if things get trapped in between their toes, for example grass seeds, they can actually dig into the dog's skin and start working their way into their skin and then that can cause quite a few problems. Okay, so obviously if you keep the, the fur short there and regularly check it, you can prevent any problems occurring from things like that. But also, trimming on the bottom of the foot can help if they get things trapped like mud or again grass seeds, that can become generally uncomfortable and you might even find that your dog actually ends up chewing them. It can also help with if your dog is slipping a bit on the fur on the bottom of their feet, it can help if you remove that fur, it gives them a little bit more grip. Obviously some breeds of dogs won't actually need this doing, but even with breeds like that, it's important to check in between your dog's toes because things can still get caught and like I said before, travel into the dog's skin. And because it's just generally a good idea to get your dog used to being handled around that area so that if they do get any problems, they're used to being touched and used to being handled. With dogs with different coats, you'll find that they'll need different levels of trimming around their feet. Although this dog has got quite a long coat in parts of its body, the, fit, the fur around its feet aren't actually that long. So his fur actually needs trimming probably about every six weeks. But you might find that with dogs that have got fur which grows really quickly, you might find yourself doing it every three, four weeks. Okay, So it basically just depends on your individual dog. The first thing we need to do is just make sure that your dog is used to being handled around their feet. They can be ticklish. So you need to make sure that you don't just grab their feet because that could put them off. And obviously that can make it more difficult than if you want to do it again in the future. So the first thing you need to do is just make sure that your dog is comfortable with being handled around their feet and in between their toes. So all you need to do to do that is just very calmly, yes, good boy, just stroke around their feet. If they do try and move away, like he's just done, just very calmly, just, just hold him, okay? Don't get stressed about it or anything like that. Most importantly, don't shout at the dog. Just hold him, and then when he's calm again like this, that's when you give your praise. And he'll soon learn that he gets a cuddle when you're being calm, when he's being calm. So I'm just handling him and getting him used to me feeling all, around, all the way around his feet. Good boy, Riley and between the toes. Good boy. Once you know that your dog is comfortable with being handled, just with your hand, then you need to introduce your equipment. Now for this, I'm gonna use a pair of curved ended scissors. It is up to you what you want to use. I like to use the curved ended scissors because if the dog flinches, then the curve isn't gonna do any damage. And I also like them to be quite small because then you can be a little bit more controlled about what you're doing. So your dog's got used to you handling them just with your hand. Good boy. Now you're gonna get them used to having the scissors around their feet. So this dog's used to having his feet trimmed, so he's not flinching. Once your dog is comfortable like so, and you've got the equipment ready, you need to have a feel between their toes, okay? Check there's no mats and check there's no bits of mud or anything like that. If there are mats, you need to make sure that they're removed because they'll just get bigger and bigger and potentially cause a lot of discomfort to the dog. The dog won't be able to get to the mat, they won't be able to remove it, but you'll find that they'll be chewing their foot, which is obviously going to cause problems. Okay, So you need to make sure that you find them and cut them out, obviously being very, very careful. Good boy. Obviously, if there's anything else other than that, like grass seeds or anything like that, you need to make sure that you pull them out of the dog's coat. Okay, so with your scissors and having pulled out the, the fur to make sure it's out as far as possible, you can gently start to cut away. Now, you want to take as much as you can, but you need to be very, very careful about what you are actually cutting. So you just very gently just cut this away. Then you need to push the toes together, like so, and just cut 
the extra bits that are poking out. Once you've cleared underneath the dog's foot, you can then move on to the, in between their toes on top of their foot, okay? So what you need to make sure you do here, instead of just straight away cutting on top here, you need to make sure that you pull up the fur in between their toes. That ensures you cut the fur as short as possible, but it also makes sure that you've got anything out between those toes. So you're gonna pull that up and then cut up like so. Good boy. Okay. Just move it around a little bit again and then cut again. What you're trying to do is just make sure you remove the majority of the fur there. And then the rest of it is just smarting it up to, to your taste. So you can do it as short as you like. Most dogs you'll find will have skin in between their toes here. So you need to make sure that when you're doing this, you don't ever cut like that. Okay, because you'll most likely cut the skin, which is obviously a no-no. Mm -hmm.